everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, I have a BT Art Box nail haul and a watch me do my nails video. So I really hope you all enjoy watching. Now, this isn't the first time that I've used BT Art Box. I recently did a video showing you guys their French X coat tips and I have to say they were the easiest French I've ever done. So if you wanna check that video out, I will leave it either listed up in the cards or in the description box below. But they reached out to me again and asked if I would like to try one of their sets from their cat's eye collection. So that's what we have here. So starting off, if you purchase one of their kits, it includes everything you need. You don't necessarily have to purchase a kit. Once you've got your kit, you could just purchase different tips. So here are their X coat tips. So these are three in one soft gel tips. They come in different lengths, sizes, etc. So as you can see, it shows that they contain the base coat and the, so you don't have to use a primer or a base coat of these basically. Going back to what's in the kit, we will take a closer look at the tips in a moment. So in the kit, you also get your lamp, which is brilliant for applying these. It makes application of gel tips a doddle. So it comes with a USB-C charge wire and you just need your own plug. And I love how small and compact this is. It sits nicely on your desk. It has a button here at the bottom, which you can just press your finger on when you pop it under to cure. And I use this to flash cure the tips on and then I do a full cure in my main lamp. You also do get a file and then this product here probably is my favorite thing from them. This is their solid gel glue. So I used this as well in their previous video. And what what I loved about it is because it's a thicker consistency gel, it really makes the now grab on to your natural now which means there's less faff trying to keep it in place whilst you're getting it under that light to cure. So it's a lot easier than a more thinner consistency gel. They do also include their instructions on how to use them. And they do have different products available to apply their tips as well. So bear in mind, if you are looking to purchase, I would highly recommend the solid glue gel for application of them. You do also get a builder gel, which is the first coat you apply over the top of your tips and then your top Top coat so this basically reinforces the strength of the nails which I find brilliant because sometimes press-ons can be a bit thin or feel a little bit thin even if they are gel tips so adding that layer of builder gel over the top I find really helps strengthen them especially if you're going to be wearing them and they're longer in length now I have already done all of my prep on my natural nails and I'm just coming in here and I'm wiping them to make sure they're nice and sanitized with an alcohol wipe and then I am just coming in with a dehydrator now, as it says on the pack, these don't require a primer. It's optional if you want to use one, I guess. I do believe that BT Art Box do also do their own dehydrator, but I didn't have that, so I just used my own one. Now, going back to the tips, these ones here are from their Cat's Eye collection, and they are the color is called Champagne, and I went for Short Almond. Now, as I mentioned, they have lots to choose from, so even once you select your color, so say you select the Champagne Cat's Eye, you can also get these in different lengths and different shapes as well. I personally love an almond and last time when I did the French nails I went for a longer one so I thought I would try the shorter length to see how these look. Now as you can see they have lots of different sizes which is brilliant because obviously everyone has different size nails and it's always a lot easier if you can get a closest size fit without having to do any alterations to the nail. So it's brilliant that you've got a lot of sizes to choose from. Now at the moment, it's really hard to see the cat's eye effect in them because they've not been top coated. But once we add that top coat, these look incredible. So what I'm gonna to do to start off with is I'm gonna just size them up. Now to size them up, you want to make sure that it's fitting your nail nice and snug, but not too snug. You don't want it to be too tight that you're having to press down really hard to get it to stretch to fit. But you do want to make sure that it fits from side wall to side wall without having to add too much pressure. Then once you have sized it up, I like to then just take it off of the little holder that it's on. Um, and then that way you keep all your tips. So I like to size it up that first and then we'll pull it off. So that way if you take all your sizes off and it's the wrong size, you've just got them loose in your pack, if that makes sense. So it's easier to size up and then place it down or take it off the pack. Now moving on, I've just set up my lamp and I just wanted to show you guys the solid glue gel. So as you can see, it's quite a thicker consistency. So it's brilliant for really grabbing hold of the nail. So once I've got all of my tips sized up, I'm going to apply a little 
little bit of this gel now you don't need loads because it's that thicker consistency it does spread out nicely once you've applied it to your nail and if you apply too much it does end up squeezing out over the nail onto your cuticle area and things like that i do show you what to do if that happens so you want to apply a nice generous amount but not too much you want to just apply it in that cuticle area and then press the nail down at a 45 degree angle i like to press it down slightly away from the cuticle and then nudge it up towards that cuticle area when it comes to application you might find different ways that work better for you and then as you can see i've let go of this now but it's really grabbed on to my natural nail plate because that glue is a little bit of a thicker consistency now here i just added a little bit too much pressure and you can see some of that gel has seeped out around the cuticle area so all i like to do is take a little bit of alcohol on a nail art brush and just wipe away that excess and then here i just wanted to get this ever so slightly closer to my cuticle so i did that first of all and then i'm going to wipe away that gel and i'm just nudging it around the great thing is is where it's grabbed on nicely to the nail and when you've applied your pressure that gel is going to work down towards the tip of the nail underneath so you then are able to reposition it as much as you like before popping it into cure once you pop it into cure it's going to be frozen or set where you've placed it so make sure you're happy with how it's positioned before you pop it into cure now in the little bt art box lamp i only do a 15 second flash cure just to hold this in place and then you can see that has solidly stuck it on but then they do require a 60 second cure so once i've done all of the nails i pop them in my main led light to do a full 30 second cure so it might take a little bit of practice, first of all, if you are new to applying press on tips to work out how much gel you need, because it is going to differ person to person depending on your nail beds. I recently did a set of these with the French ones on my daughter who has teeny tiny nail beds. So obviously we need to use a lot less gel than what I'm using on my own nails. The more you do your own nails or the more you do sort of anyone's nails, you kind of get into the habit of knowing how much gel you need to use but if at first you end up applying too much gel you can wipe it off like i showed you guys with some alcohol if you don't apply it, apply enough and you feel that when you're pressing it down there isn't enough gel there you can just take the tip off apply a little bit more gel and then pop it into cure so always make sure you're happy with your gel application before you're curing it so wiping away any excess if there's too much and then adding a little bit more if there's not enough so again i've sized up my tip i've applied my gel and pressing it down kind of at a 45 degree angle slightly away from that cuticle area and then sliding it up towards the cuticle area you can come in and apply this straight down at the cuticle area just make sure you're doing that 45 degree angle and applying your pressure personally it's a personal preference i like to slide it up towards the cuticle but i've tried a couple of different methods and like i said both of those mentioned do work well now on the bottom of the lamp is the little button that i mentioned so as you can see here i'm not sure if it goes off automatically say after 60 seconds i will need to check that but you can just pop your tip on get it in to position of how you want it press that little button you can even press it with the finger as you're putting it in the lamp i like to hold the tip whilst it's under there curing just so i'm making sure that i'm applying a nice amount of pressure but you don't want to make sure that you don't have your thumb covering where you've applied the gel so say for example you're holding the tip on you want to hold it on at the very tip of the nail not applying your thumb over the nail bed area because then you're going to be blocking the light where well, the light needs to hit the nail to cure that gel underneath so you'll see here i'm going to press this down get it into place move it about until i'm happy with it and then pop that light on and then i'm holding it just on the very tip of the nail whilst it's curing so that is all of them stuck on fairly solid they're not going to go anywhere but we have only flash cured them so i then pop them in my led lamp to cure for a full 60 seconds and now they are all very solidly stuck on then i'm going to take the little file that's included and i'm not shaping these or anything like that it's a little bit out of shot unfortunately but i'm just removing that little excess piece of plastic that's on the end of the tip that was holding them on to the holder so we're just getting rid of that and as you can see they have a beautiful natural looking apex to them and they are a really beautiful shape as well so because i filed the edges of them i'm just wiping over with an alcohol wipe just to make sure that there's no dust on there 
Then we're going to come in and reinforce these with the builder gel. So I'm not 100% sure if it's different, but I'm pretty sure with my French kit, instead of builder gel, it was called the reinforced coat or something like that. I need to double check because I don't remember it being called builder gel, but it was very, very similar to a builder gel. So with a builder gel, if you're familiar with working with builder gel, you'll know that it's a little bit thicker than a regular gel polish or a regular top coat. So what that does over the top of these tips is really adds that layer of strength to them it makes them feel a lot stronger personally to me it made them feel a lot like wearing a sculpted builder gel set of nails but obviously it's a lot quicker and easier to do especially if you're working on your own nails and you're doing your non-dominant hand this is a lot easier way to do that so as you can see, I'm just applying this like I would a top coat. So just applying a layer of it over the entire nail. Because it's a thicker consistency product, it's gonna go on with that medium thickness of gel. It's not gonna go on like a thin top coat, but you don't wanna build up too much thickness with it. One, because you want it to cure nice and evenly, and you wanna make sure it fully cures. If you apply it too thick, you might have curing issues. But two, it doesn't need to be applied thickly just because it's a thicker consistency product. On your little, on my little finger here, you can see I wiped some off because I had a little bit too much product on my brush I'm just allowing my brush to fan out trying to get it nice and neat around those cuticles and sidewalls again if you get any of the gel products on your skin just make sure to wipe them off before curing and you can see once we've added that glossy layer it's shown us the champagne cat's eye effect that these have so these look absolutely beautiful on their own but of course you can come over the top and apply your nail art now if you was going to apply nail art over the top of these I would advise either doing it straight on top of the tips and then adding your builder gel layer or adding it between the builder gel layer and the top coat layer just so it's all sealed in nicely i do end up adding some nala on top of these but i did it in a separate video because i wore these and then a day or two later i decided you know what we're going to add some autumn nala to them but once we had cured that builder gel we're going to come in with our final step and apply our top coat and this is going to make them even more glossy and shiny and this helps keep them from chipping and things like that I find that this top coat is quite scratch resistant as well and I did do some cooking with curry and usually that stains my nails quite badly but this top coat didn't stain at all so that was really nice as well. I love the consistency of this one as well. It's a nice thin consistency because obviously you've added a thicker layer of builder gel so you won't really wanna come in with a too thick top coat. I like to make sure I'm getting really around the tips and edges of the nails with this top coat as well. So then we're gonna cure that for 60 seconds and this is the final result. So I really loved this champagne color for autumn. I kind of feel it gives off like cozy cashmere vibes. It's a really cute color and I loved how well this shape was for my nails I love a pointed arm and set of nails this was the short length and I thought it was a really nice everyday natural length if you're not too used to wearing longer nails this is a great length to wear I do believe the square look a little bit shorter than the almond but I always end up going for either stiletto or almond nails let me know if you would like to see a different shape maybe and I'll see what I can do so I just added some cuticle oil there and then this is the finished set so let me know in the comments below what you thought as always, I will leave all the products linked in the description box below along with any discount codes as well. So do check that out. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscription button. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.